Oh, we've already done 5% and 6% respectively on those cores. That is going to take a while then. Oh, we've got income of 1.6 now. Not bad. And the force of the meat was raised to 5 again. Good. That is good. Okay, so... Pisa is probably a bit off the limit. Bologna, who are you allied to? Trent. I think that's something that we could deal with. I'm just going to start building a spy network there. I'm not going to be declaring war on you anytime soon, I think. Uh, do we have any modifiers about the no, attrition for enemy? There's the increased core, uh, coring cost from Perugia. At least the communications are pretty good in here. Renzo, because the... Actually, what are the pathing levels in here? Level 2 over there. Level 2 in here, and Firenze has level 2. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should probably get a claim on Sienna. Who are they allied with? Uh, Tecklenburg. Hmm. And then they got their vassal again, but that's not an issue. Right. So we're improving relations with Venice. Uh, I believe we still don't have the... Uh, there was the not that abundance of goods. Um, this thing, military endeavor. We need to have higher force limit and a larger army. But basically, once we reach our <laughs> force limit of six, then we need to. Or well, once we have that force limit, then we need to meet it. Hmm. That would be seven. I think we're gonna go with the diplomat candidate again. And who are the factions? So Metropolitan is still the leading one. And then, and then Papacy. We got 19 points already, so we're getting pretty good in that. Oh. Oh, we're pacifists. Hmm. Well, the production inefficiency in in goes down. You are requesting a... Um, you know what? I will let you move through for now. It's just so that your army will be here so I can kill it later. They're not at war with anyone. Actually, let's have a look at the crazy expansion. Uh, we got a decent chunk in here, of course. It is going down. Actually, that's something that I could do with the extra diplomats. Android countries, improve relations. Oh, for some oh Pisa is one of the nations that we're improving with. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's 25 extra expansion in there. So in about 10 years, it's going to be zero again. Oh, the tradition has gone down to 62. Oh dear, I mean, it's going up at least. Yeah, the interest per annum can be pretty good. Oh. I'm going to go with it's a sin. Although the money would be nice. The uh, people influence is going to be more useful for us. Save our uh, monarch points a little bit. What do we have? Oligarchy. Oh, right, so these don't actually give. Uh, regionalism gives us a bit of bonus uh, income from vassals, vassal force limit contribution, and diplo annexation cost goes up. Oh, they give various bonuses to. Loyalists. Oh! Daily army professionalism. Local armies. Okay, so the professionalism is. Going down, presumably? I'm not entirely sure if it is, actually. No, it's going up. Oh, so it... Okay, so it was uh, the other way in there. Right, we can recall that diplomat. Now, Milan probably would not like us, even if we tried. What about Genoa? Still fighting... Can oh, you're fighting Kandar. This has a claim on you. You know what? Let's just improve relations with you for the time being. Because I'm pretty sure I still only have one ally. Oh. Okay, so the money is still... How much are we missing from the... Admin tank, actually. About 50 points. 52 points, to be precise. So, we should be getting that in... Five months. Oh, that's good. 
We'll get that then done. And we are now neighboring uh, the Pope. Of course, oh. Oh, right, they didn't have too many allies right now. Urbino and Fermo. And they got Romania as a vassal state. Hmm. So they've got a pretty good, uh, or pretty solid situation in here right now. Alright, so that's Camarina. Who are you fighting? Flanders? Oh, wow. Fighting France? Oh, because you're allied with Arania. Yeah. <laughs> and Venice. Uh, actually, is Venice fighting? No, Venice is not part of that war. So who is France fighting? Arania and Camarina. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I suppose they might not reach Camerino in all fairness. And doesn't look like the unrest is all that bad right now. Um, is it going to go down on a yearly basis again? Yes, it is. In two years, it's um, well, technically a bit over a year by now. It's going to be zero because we're already at December. Oh, right, it's the centralization that increases national unrest a little bit. Fair enough. Okay, the cores are now at 23%, so it's going to be 1366 when we, or by the end of 1366, when we get the cores done. It takes a while. Actually, how is our manpower? I mean, we could have up to 8,000 and something, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we'll see once the year changes. But yeah, I think we're going to start expanding towards Ferrara soon enough. Because Pisa has uh, Milan as an ally. Although, actually, just out of curiosity, I'm not entirely sure how that well that would go. Oh, right, I don't have a diplomat. You also allied with Padua. But Milan might not be joining in because they got their own problems. They're desperately losing their war right now. But if I was to take out Pisa, I mean, it would be probably too much. Uh, aggressive expansion, but uh, at some point it might be pretty good. I mean, we got time to do or use the claims at least, so that's good. Oh, well, we got time until 1400s. But yeah, if we could take uh, these two, that'd be really nice. Then we'd probably have to take Luka or go around Luka, I suppose, because we are allied with them right now. They don't really like me. Hmm. Okay, Milan hasn't recovered, it would be a chance. Mm, yeah. I mean, okay, so we have probably not gotten any more. No. Our uh, force limit is still 5. I mean, five is not bad, although it might not be enough to... Oh, Livorno doesn't have any sort of fortifications. Well, then. This piece has a level... Yeah, that's zero. Over here, they got two, so that would require four units. So, even with our current army, if we can just destroy that, we can seize them down. And then, uh, Padova, if they're going to move in, they're going to have to go through our capital, which is going to stop them. Oh, Pisa was um, <laughs> building spy network. Um, I've been checking the Vicky 3 dev diaries every now and then. I've not checked a couple latest ones yet. Yeah, admin efficiency goes up. Does that actually speed up the... No, I don't think it speeds up those. Yeah, we'll get the claim on Siena and claim on Bologna down here. Or Neglia, to be precise. I've seen the one concerning the army and war, because they changed how the whole thing works. I've seen um, one of the first ones, or one or two of them. I don't remember. All of them, but yeah, I, I know that the war system is going to change quite a bit. Oh, 
we got naval materials of 100. I mean, suppose we do have a coastal land now. They learn me in Texas. Don't think being sucked to is enough to learn, though. Yeah, I mean, you'll just need to jump in at some point. I mean, I, I don't know most of the things, but like, uh, just looking around on the, all the tooltips and that sort of stuff helps a long way. Actually, it reminds me, I'm on wrong page here. Hmm. Right, did we... We are still probably... Oh, no, we're not building the amenities anymore. So we got the amenities built already. And now we have... Um, Maybe the population should be increasing, but no, it isn't. Although there's a lot of immigration into here now. Just making sure that it is actually built. It is. Huh. Well, that's good. It means that we're going to have about 200,000 living in... Or 200,000 urban population in here, which is not bad. also means a bit more... Oh, crap. Our spies got caught both in Siena and Bologna. Well, that's a bit of a setback. Oh, indulgence expired. Okay, so we're going to be getting a lot less influence again. We could just buy it again, in all fairness. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. It is about 20 ducats for... Uh, Few extra points of papal influence is not really that bad. Of course, it takes a while. But yeah, I can't wait to get the Magna Crossitana to be core so I can start building some navies in here. Of course, I won't be able to have a big fleet right now. I could, well, technically, I could have five ships, but I can have like maybe one ship going out right now with uh, my uh, naval materials income. Just like one trade ship takes four materials per month. What harbor level? I don't actually know. Take a look once we are through the start of the year shenanigans. But yeah, I'll probably need to do some developing kind of in the other areas as well. Although I suspect that once I've conquered Pisa, that's probably going to be our um, primary port. Right, uh, it has no harbourage. Huh. I don't know if I can build stuff there without a core. I mean, probably. At the same time, I don't think we have the money to build right now. Uh, we don't have the unrest anymore. I'm just going to start drilling the army for a little bit. It might mean that there's going to be unrest returning again for a little bit. But it should be alright. Oh yeah, it is making a return. But we can wait until it reaches like 20%. At least 20%, maybe even more. And then just put the army back on rebel suppression to reduce it. Yeah, we got no harbour, we got only very crude pathing in there. All the roads, at least that kind of helps with the communications. Which is still superb. Oh. Aren't you Santa Fiora? Huh. In 1247, the county of Santa Fiora was... A ca yeah, county of Santa Fiora was born by Ponifus uh, Albertus Shiguel. It was descended of one of Italy's greatest uh, Lombard houses outside of the capital, Santa Fiora. Holding, holdings include the towns of Castel Azara, Alvena, Rocca Silvana, other. Okay, that's a lot of names. Um, the Conrad of the Silver Houses at Dragon Skull. Oh. Well, I'll be. Oh, and our general died. Let's go ahead and get a new one. Hopefully it's as good as the previous one. Well, mm -hmm. three seeds people is not bad. Actually, it's so good that I'm just going to get the leader to do the drill. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six fire on the leader. Unfortunately, he's not going to be around for all that long, but still pretty good. But uh, the siege people is really nice. 
through any pursuit for the time. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, um, the spearmen, actually, the spearmen don't have five. What's that, you? Thank you for the host. Much appreciated. But actually, do they have any? I suppose they don't. No, they don't have any fire pips right now. At least they might get some at the, soon enough. Well, actually, let's have a look. Um, no. What's the cavalry that had some? Uh, the mounted archers will have some. That could be useful. Right, so there's... Oh! I... Okay. Perugia is definitely part of the Papal States, uh... Uh, state, so that is, uh... <laughs> and they're separatists, technically speaking. Not that that's really gonna happen. I'll make sure of that. So I wonder, have we gotten any more... No, we haven't gotten any more land force limit yet. We've got relatively little... Production there, or income there. I mean, we got an income at least. Of course, since we're paying our army in full, that is kind of a problem. No expenses. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take away a privilege from the nobility, I think. Um. <laughs> we have an expensive court. But the influence will go down. Relations with them will go down, but the corruption will also go down. Prestige decay will go down. There's still 0.6 every year on the corruption, but I think with this it's going to stop somewhere around 23 points of corruption. And, well, eventually we'll have it even better. I mean, we oh, actually are we? No, we are a republic, so nobility being in power isn't necessarily that much uh, required. We well, haven't got. Oh, right now we are improving relations with Sienna. Well then, for some reason they don't like me. I wonder why. It's not like I took a province from them and have been spying them for the past couple of years. Ooh, almost enough paper points for the church levy tax. With our monopolies and conglomerates in power. Exactly. Okay, not quite enough. Next month we can do that. Which is good because it's going to happen right before the taxes happen. So we are going to save a bit more points. Well, no, it's not like it's um, the tax mana cost. So it is actually best used right about now. So we'll recall the diplomat there. So I wanted to check if I was to declare war on, because Milan is still fighting. If I was to declare war on Pisa, Milan would not join. I could definitely give something to look at and they would join in, but. Uh, how much would that be? It would be 5,000 men against my 5,000 men. How bad is my aggressive expansion? A little 20 on some of the nations here. But maybe we'll wait for a year or two. We'll have it gone the course down anyway, so we might as well wait for those first. Wait, so is this? No, it is a state. That's a state. Huh. Oh, right, start of the year. I was like, oh, why is the game not responding again? But let's just say this mod tends to put the uh, game engines uh, pretty much to its limits and a uh, few inches. Uh, Further. So, yeah. Game doesn't really like it, but there we go. Oh! We get. Oh, bollocks! Now the start of the uh, taxes 
But we did save a lot of points in there. So actually, manpower max is now 8300. Still haven't gotten another infantry or room in our force limit. This is hard to run. Three black guys is not like this. Imagine it being slower. <laughs> that would be painful. Okay, Perugia actually has quite a bit of unemployment. Oh, not unemployment. Where did I get the unemployment in here? Um, um, unrest. It starts with an un. So we've got 13 army professionalism already. So it is going up slowly but surely. And now we're going to get the diplotech for the better trade ships. Prayers. I mean. Oh, Latin sailor caravel. Oh, or caravel. Hmm. Interesting. And the Carax is level 18, so that's going to take a while before we get those. Not that it necessarily matters that much. Oh, and our inflation is going down. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that. Our balance is almost uh, two ducats per month now. Still not all that much, but hey, it's money. The Milan is still under fire. Oh man, attacking Pisa now would be a pretty decent idea. Although I'm kind of interested to see how badly Milan will shatter after this war of fragment. Genoa almost likes us. Is there actually... we still got room for another alliance, right? Pretty sure we do. Oh, we're going to align Genoa. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll join your war. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be doing much, but I'll, jo I'll join your war. I'm guessing the next month is going to ask us about our losing policy. Or maybe not. All for peace. Oh. Genoa is actually winning this one. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, there we go. Not looting. That'd just be pretty in that war. <laughs> I mean, it's like um, we join to the war to see it... Uh, or see the final shots fired or something like that. Oh, I see. Genoa owns the port here. That's what they were trying to get, I reckon. Imperialistic Genoa, yeah. Oh. That is occupied by Kanda, so Kanda does have that area. Probably like of the Venetian girls. <laughs> Quite. I don't know. I, I think for us it would be more apt to say, uh, draw me like one of your Medici banks. Or Medici banks. Because we're all about the money. <laughs> and Bob going with the quote thing right in there. That's the timing. Okay, we are almost enough um, spy network in Bologna to get a claim there. Yeah, at least the um, core in Perugia is going to be done soon enough. I actually wonder, how much would it cost to build the... Actually, let's have a look at first. We've got 5,000 urban population in here. It seems to be going down a little bit because we have uh, no amenities. So, well, we're going to have 3,000 without any amenities in there. We'll at least have level 1. That's level 1. That's level 2. Perugia is actually not bad. 